Hello, so I just wanted to come back and answer some of the top questions that I've been getting since I had my MIA procedure done. These are the questions that sort of everyone wants the answer to, so I'm going to do my best to try and answer them all. So question one, are you awake? Yes, you are awake when you have your MIA procedure. They essentially just give you some local anaesthetic in the area and a light sedative muscle relaxer, but definitely awake and I definitely was chatting probably most of the way through the procedure. Um, can you feel anything? No, I couldn't really feel anything when I was having the procedure done, just a little bit of like pulling and prodding, but definitely nothing painful and nothing uncomfortable. Um, question three, does it hurt? Well, no, it certainly didn't hurt when I was getting the procedure done. I did have some aches and pains um, in the first few days after, like around the incision site and just due to the swelling, but it definitely wasn't like painful um, as such. Uh, question for how big can you go with Mia? So Mia uses Mavita diamond shaped implants. So they go from 140 cc up to 195 cc. And although that sounds quite small, due to the shape of them, they actually give a lot more forward projection. So they do come up like bigger than regular implants do. So I had like 170. Um, so that sort of gives you an idea of sort of the, the size that you're getting. Um, where are the incisions uh question five so the incisions basically are just like in the folds of my armpit that's the only incision just under there and under there nothing on the breast at all everything totally left intact um question number six how do they get them in so uh the mere procedure uses this like innovative no touch system so they essentially put the implant into a pressured sort of applicator and they make the incision and then put the applicator into sort of where they've made the incision and essentially like pop the implant into the pocket that they've made um, and that's how they do it whilst preserving all of your tissue um, and that is actually how they get them out as well through the exact same site which is really interesting um question seven what do they feel like so when i was trying to explain to people what the implants felt like after i had gone and like played with them and i went for my consultation i sort of explained them as like a squishy baby's balm or something like that um as somebody that has never like had like big boobs it's quite difficult for me to like explain what they feel like in comparison to that but they're definitely squishy um mine obviously a couple of weeks old now and they're feeling softer and softer every day obviously a little bit of firmness to them they definitely wiggle like regular boobs do and move around like regular boobs do and i guess they'll just do that a little bit more um over time um, question A is a really good question. What size were you and what size are you now? So I think I was probably around a B or something like that before, but it's again quite difficult for me to say because I always wore push up padded bras, probably always wore bras that were too big for me. Um, and definitely after I had children, I lost all volume and projection. So, like from the side, I basically was totally flat chested. Um, so, in terms of what size I am now, I reckon I'm going to be a like a really good C maybe even a little bit bigger than that but very difficult to say at the moment because they're still settling um question nine um what is the downtime so i did talk about this quite a lot in my second video my recovery video but i guess the downtime depends person to person i definitely have been taking it easy and took it really easy the first couple of days but i was up and doing stuff and being active walking i have two children so i had to do stuff i couldn't just like stop completely but i was feeling fine generally within the first couple of days just being mindful more than anything about what i was doing like lifting my arms up or like lifting heavy heavy objects but like it it really hasn't been crazy and definitely like nothing compared to what traditional breast enhancement um would be in terms of recovery um and question 10 uh how much does a mia procedure cost so I paid £9,000 for my MIA procedure, which is a little bit more expensive than a traditional breast enhancement procedure. But for me, I think uh, based on the experience that you get with MIA, you know, the incisions, the downtime, all of that sort of stuff is definitely worth it. Um, and my bonus question, which I have had a few times, 
what was in the box. So if you haven't seen my first video, go and check it out. But when I went to uh, the hospital to have my Mia procedure done, I went in and there was a lovely little uh, Mia gift box sitting on the bed. This is typical of having Mia procedure done. Like Mia is an experience. It wasn't just there for me because I was like the first person in the UK to have it done. But what was inside was this um, lovely little Tchaikovsky necklace, which, oh my God, isn't it amazing? Um, I had like a Mia information book a little box of Hotel Chocolat chocolates. I had a Mia eye mask and some scar gel, but I can't use that for the first six weeks. I'm under strict instructions not to use anything on the incision site for six weeks. So those are my like top questions. I hope you found them useful. Please do check out my first video where I learn about Mia and go and have my Mia procedure. And my second video where I go through the first one week of recovery. And um, if you do have any other questions about me or you're interested to find out more, please message me. I'll try and answer um, any questions that I have, but I hope you have found that useful.